So, Ryan Grimm decided to come on Sabrina's show, Sabby Sabs, to talk about what the squad has been doing. And it didn't go too well for him. So, let's take a look at that. It seems like every time we try to uh, critique them, you come in pretty, pretty quickly uh, to defend them. You're the one that has access to them. We don't. And it just seems like you're kind of there to run cover for them. And as long as people like you keep defending them, they're not going to be held accountable and they're not going to change. They can easily ignore or avoid us. But when the people who have access to them don't push back on them or say, no, you guys are not doing your job, that would be different, I think. Yes! yes! Like I, 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 have, I have pushed them to do that. Uh, and what did they say uh, about that, Ryan? Oof. What about all the people who canvass for AOC? Oof. What about all the people who phone bank for her? What about all the money that a lot of us donated to AOC and, and the rest of them? They took money from working class people, Ryan. I was on the ground. I saw them take money from people who really didn't have it to give. And for them to just sell us out like that, I'm going to be vocal about that because that's not right. Oh, God. Oftentimes what I have seen uh, is yourself and, and some of your comrades kind of coming down on activists for those of us trying to organize on the outside. Force the vote straight from the DSA handbook. That is something that they are supposed to be doing in reference to Medicare for all. Chose not to do it. Not even one of them came to the town hall general strike. So like last year um, at RBN, we hosted a general strike summit and you did it too, Ryan. You and some of your colleagues came in and you guys were like criticizing us before it even happened. And the whole point of that summit was that the, was that the Medicare for all March? Well, there was that too. I do feel like, like people like you, you guys can come and attack activists but you don't want to attack the politicians who are supposed to be doing what we're out on the ground doing anyway. Ugh. I don't remember saying anything negative about the general strike. What did I do? I do. You said that on the lines of, of something um, of it of it being foolish. Thanks so much for coming on. I hope I wasn't too harsh. No, not, not at all. <laughs> not at all. That's what happens when you interview one of us, when you interview someone like Sabrina, someone like Jimmy Dore, someone like Jackson Hinkle, we don't fucking take any bullshit. You're gonna get knocked the fuck out for for defending in shit libs, man. Because you are a shit lib. So, the same people who lied to us about Russiagate, the same people who lied to us about Syria, the same people who smeared Jimmy Dore for interviewing one of the Boogaloo boys, People like the Young Turks, people like Kyle Klinsky, people like Ryan Grimm, they defend the squad because they have access to them. Maybe you need to lose the access. If we don't hold the squad accountable, they're never going to stop doing what they do. They've scrolled out and they need to be hold, held accountable. And what they're doing, what the squad is doing, people like AOC, it's an insult to all the people who canvassed for AOC, who organized for her, who gave them money. They scammed these working people who thought they were going to help their lives materially. And they owe them an apology. And you got real leftists like Jimmy Dore and Sabrina, who actually want to hold the left accountable. They, that's why they wanted to force the vote. That's why they wanted to do a summit for a general strike. The idea of a general strike being that all the workers, they get together and strike. It's something that the IWW has supported. That they think that that's going to be, that will be how you, you get revolution it, in order to halt the, the means of production and force the capitalists to actually meet your demands. I mean, people need to, workers need to strike if they want to gain power. But Ryan Grimm, he doesn't want to challenge the, the establishment, the status quo. He wants to defend sh the, sh the squad. He wants to defend the shit lives. And when, when you get a, this is what happens when you get a hardball interview, Ryan. That, this is what happens when you, you do 
after doing articles that defend the squad, he, he wrote an article about AOC where he just defended her. <laughs> and she said, I'm not a sellout, I just make mistakes. It's just a softball fluff piece that was written in The Intercept. Well, you're, you're not in the softball space anymore, Ryan Grimm. You're in the hardball space. And you, you should apologize to the, the real left, to, to working people. You need to apologize, and you need to start holding the left accountable. You, you've been exposed, you, Ryan, you've been exposed, and you've been ratioed. And the, your audience is turning on you. Everyone sees through you. YouTube's taking away the dislikes from your, your videos. Every it, from all the channels that you, you go on, like Young Turks, The Majority Report, etc. They're taking away the dislikes from their videos because they're getting exposed by their own audiences when they have you on to defend the squad. So you better realize that Jimmy Dore is right about everything. Being, you gotta hold the squad accountable. That means that admitting that Jimmy Dore is right about everything ever. You want to gatekeep shit lib? We're coming for you. Fuck you.